Hello friends, my name is Kishan and welcome you in this video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we are going to discuss about the some of the methods uh, available in files class uh, and these methods have been added in Java 8. So in past few series of video tutorial, we have explored I mean many methods which is uh, the addition of Java 8 in this class. Now in this video tutorial we are going to discuss about the method is called write so there are three overloaded write method so I'm going to show you uh, how to make use of these methods so basically we'll see these two first two methods so if you look into the first method then basically if you want to write or uh, I mean byte of array in particular file then that's the use of first method in second method you have a argument like path so this here you are going to specify the I mean your file location in which file I mean file name uh, in terms of path and second argument is nothing but the iterable right so here you can pass any kind of list or set and third parameter you have a char set so you can have a supply the char set and fourth parameter you have, you have something is called open options so here you can specify whether you want to read or write kind of operation right so it is see right so there are three overloaded method and this is the method which is added in the java 1.8 and this internally makes call to this method so let's uh, try to understand how we can make use of these methods right so we have a class let's start coding so paths has a method is called get and here uh, uh, I have created this project uh, and here I have a uh, two files right and these files are blank first is the data one so here I'm going to specify this file name data one dot txt and this will give you the your path let's say p1 and files has a method is called write just we have seen right now so i'm going to make use of first method so first argument we are passing path p1 and here i'm going to pass suppose you have a string like s equal to india is beautiful country So in now and second uh, parameter will have to pass byte array right. So a string has a class is called get byte right, which gives you the byte array itself. And third option we are going to specify standard 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 open options. And here we, we have a different options right so if you want to append data in existing file then append but here if I am going to write data into a file so write right and if you look into the return type of this method this return a write so say write one and we can print the location of the file where we have written this data so right has a method is called uh, to uri and to uri is a method again get pass so this will print the complete path i mean location of a file where you have written this data now again second method i'm going to use second overloaded method so let's copy this line of code and say p2 and at this time i'm going to take this file uh, data2.txt and here i'm going to uh, use second overloaded method again we have a write at this time i'm going to use this method 
so first parameter is a path so let's say p2 and second parameter is nothing but the iterable right so you can take a list say list or set so i'm going to list of a string and say names and new linked list i'm going to take link list that is the one of the implementer of list interface and in this link list you can add as many elements as you want so let's add kk in real is in real scenario you may want to retrieve this data from the database or somewhere else and you would like to write somewhere in the file then this concept may work so here second i travel so i travel means you can pass either any list or set right and now second is the care set so i'm going to pass care set care set and as a method is called for name and here care set i'm going to specify the utf8 and here again you can specify a standard open option right okay and here again you can print entire location of your file where you have written the data sorry so return type of this you can store some local variable so let's say this is two two okay and let's run this program so at this point of time these two file are blank if i run this application and uh, let's check the output saying that so these two lines is just printing the look file name with complete location absolute path saying this written has happened in these two files if i go to the first file then say india is beautiful what we have written and data two so all list content we have written in this file so i hope you understood how to make use of these two methods right so so that's the thing i wanted to show you in this video tutorial this code i'm going to upload on the github and github location i will specify in video location itself and uh, if you like this video then please do subscribe my youtube channel that encourage me to upload more and more video and uh, so that's all and see you next video tutorial will with some new stuff in java 8 itself and thanks for watching this video